You bastards are lucky it's not hunting season. <laughs> well, welcome back to Saskatchewan here, folks, for another episode of Short Quick Dicks. So, I call them short quick dicks because I just don't have the time to put all this shit together. So, I just put a whole bunch of short ones together and then upload them to YouTube. So, that's what short quick dicks are. I thought you were talking about your love life. So, that's what short quick dicks was. I thought you were talking about your attention span. So that's what short quick dicks were. I thought you were referring to when I used to change your diapers. We both know you never changed one of my diapers. I did once. <laughs> that BMA. Well, how about we start things off with an episode called Life's a Splice, all about fencing. Quick Dick, Quick Dick coming to you from Saskatchewan here, and today we will be looking at the fencing splice. Let us start with the, the wire is holding up the post splice. You have the, a tree fell on it last year, so I spliced it, and then another tree fell on it again this year, so I kind of don't give a shit splice. You of course have the switching from new wire to old wire splice, so it really doesn't fucking matter. I'm not actually sure what the hell this is. It's uh, neighbors don't come back here, the cows don't come back here, so who really cares? I off slash splice. Then you have the all we seem to do here is fucking splice triangle. Okay, this is a double asshole splice. There's an asshole here, an asshole here, and an asshole made this splice, and it's not going to last very long. But there's one very important splice you must use if you're building a fence near the road where the community can see it, or if you're building next to your neighbor's place and they have to look at your splice when they're checking their fence. That's right, folks. Welcome to another episode of How To, where Quick Tick McTick shows you how to make a fencing splice where people from the road or the neighbors can see it, so you actually have to pretend like you give a shit. Step one is to ensure that your new spool of wire is, of course, and in fact, made in Canada. Check. Tree Island. Step two is to nip your barbs right at the end. is to cross your barbs, secure with your pliers, on twist, an overlapping path, start your wires going around the mulberry bush and twist using your index finger and your thumb, keeping your spool perfectly tight. Proceed until your splice is exactly the length of a barb, cross wire. Get onto the other side. Are you still with me, people? Same process. Then you take that splice and you show it off to the neighbors. Okay, that'll last 10 times longer than an asshole splice, but it still doesn't change the fact that an asshole made the splice. This is Quick Tick Big Dick signing off, reminding you one way to not be very nice is to tease your neighbors about their fencing place. Catch you next time. Would this truly be an episode of Quick Dick without making fun of the Sultan of Sparkle Socks himself, Justin Trudeau? I think not. Quick Tick Quick Tick coming to you from Saskatchewan here today, and in 59 seconds or less, Quick Tick is going to try and explain to you what Justin Trudeau is doing to Canada. See, this is Canada. This is Canada with Justin Trudeau running it. Let's pretend that this fire is the profitability on farms, and this shovel is Justin Trudeau's carbon tax. This is what's left to the transportation industry after the carbon tax. This shovel is Justin Trudeau's clean fuel standard. <laughs> oh look, it's a smoldering pile of shit. Looks like Bill Blair and Justin Trudeau's C-21. Yeah, this is about what'll be left to Canada when that bastard's done with it. The difference between a prairie fire and having Justin Trudeau lead Canada is Quick Dick can wash the stink of prairie fire off him in about five minutes. Canada will never wash the stink of Justin Trudeau off of it. This is Quick Dick Quick Dick signing off reminding you dropping a match can deliver the same blow as giving Canada to Justin Trudeau. Catch you next time. For those of you that are all butthurt that I didn't roast Aaron O'Toole on his new price on carbon, don't worry, that's coming up very soon. Stay tuned. Okay, was that a dick thing to say? Well, maybe, but it's not easy being a dick.
Hello, my name's Quick Dick McDick, and for the last 37 years, I've been a dick. Hi, Dick. It's uh, not easy being a dick. Sometimes I'm a little bit of a soft dick, but it's mostly in the mornings. You can catch me sometimes looking at pictures of rescue dogs thinking they're cute. Sometimes I'm a hard dick, especially when I'm trying to stick my pin in a hole. Yeah, you son of a bitch! Uh, I became a hairy dick about a year and a half ago and it's a split decision. Some people like it and some people don't. Don't even get me started on what you have to call every single selfie that you send somebody. Think about it. It's cause they're all dick pics. It's not easy being a dick, but I'm trying. Good, Good job. job. Try and laugh a bit. It's Quick Dick McDick signing off. Catch you next time. Okay, but don't make something like Dicks Anonymous make you jump to conclusions. Another throwback for you folks. Enjoy! Quick Dick Big Dick coming to you from Saskatchewan here today reminding you not to jump to conclusions. Let us use this phone call as an example. Well, it had been a while since I had my hands on a rack like that, so it was two pokes and a quiver, and then I prematurely dumped my load. Now hold on, let's have a closer look. So this is a hay rack, you don't see them like this very often. All the bars are there and not bent, there's air and all the tires and all the planks are even on the deck. Quiver refers to the agricultural technician's bottom lip as it tries to wheel 60 feet of tractor trailer over an approach that was made for 30 feet of body job grain truck. Easy at the medicine shop. 17. Prematurely dumping your load happens when you fail to navigate said approach properly. Shit! This is Quick Dick McDick signing off reminding you hearing something and jumping to a conclusion is not always the best solution. We'll get you next time. Ah, that was a throwback, eh? Ah, uh, what do you say? We probably got time for one more. I just uploaded this one not long ago to social media, so you've probably seen it already. If you haven't and you don't got social media, again, congratulations, and here you go. Quick Dick McDick and Morty coming to you here with an episode of Wild Canada, where we observe species in their wild habitat right here in Canada. It's important to stay quiet so we do not spook today's species. It's a Canadian pipeline. Oh, it's majestic. Notice how the Canadian pipeline blocks your fucking crossing so you can't get across the road. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the closest I've ever been to a Canadian pipeline without the fear of it jumping off the tracks and burning everything inside. I can actually see how this makes a lower carbon footprint because I've had Morty shut off for at least 15 minutes waiting on this bastard. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom, at this rate, I should make her for dinner by about next month. Look, Elizabeth May, this is way better than pipelines. <laughs> Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, congratulations! You must not even be able to sit on your wallets at this point in time. <laughs> Save the trains for grains. She's a beauty here, ain't it? <laughs> Glad you stopped by, folks. We'll catch you next week. It's Quick Dick McDick signing off, reminding you if the weight of the world's starting to feel heavy like a brick, take a few minutes and have a laugh with a fella named Quick Dick McDick. We'll catch you next time.